Hello, good morning everyone. I'm so delighted to share this story with you of God's peace in the midst of a storm. I can remember very vividly that I had just completed a Sabbath school training in Zaire and we were crossing the border into Rwanda. The year was 1994. And as we got to the border town, the security held my passport for a while because I was traveling on a British passport. Being a citizen of Guyana, even though I was naturalized in the US, I still had a passport from Guyana, but it expired, so I was given a British passport. He couldn't understand why someone with a British passport looked like me. But as he allowed us to go across and we entered into Rwanda, we heard on the news that war had broken out in the border town. So we were wondering to ourselves, what is going on? But we recognized that the Lord had delayed us over there in Zaire for a reason. Because a hundred miles away from where we were, the great genocide was taking place. As I said before, the year was 1994. The dominant tribe in Rwanda, the Hutus, were against the Tutsis. The Tutsis, the minority tribe, they were in power. And the Hutus felt that they couldn't take it anymore. So there was killings everywhere. And as we crossed over into Rwanda, we were walking right into the trap. And the thing that was so plaguing for us was that my colleague that was traveling with me was from the Tutsi, the minority group that they were slaughtering. So right away, we started to think to ourselves, how can we secure ourselves? We had to lie low. We had to make sure that we were undercover so when we got into rwanda we sought cover and the lord orchestrated the circumstances to protect us so that we weren't discovered and right away the president of the union at that time started to make arrangement for me to get out of rwanda because it was a hot spot as you know it was the time of the great genocide which took place from April to July. So it was right in the middle of that where even the people in the church were caught up in this ethnic cleansing, the Hutus against the Tutsis. It didn't matter whether you were Christian or not. Everyone was swept up in this. And you know, as we lay low and tried to allow the tide to blow over, I caught myself saying, Lord, we are in a storm. But in the midst of the storm, the Lord gave me a lot of peace and tranquility. And one of the things that came to my mind, must Jesus bear his cross alone and all the world go free? Yes, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. And that was the time when I felt I was bearing the brunt of the cross because we weren't sure what was going to happen. But you know, in the midst of that gen genocide, God gave me a word, John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. John 14, 27. So that text kept me going until they were able to get me out of Rwanda. Yes, I was in Rwanda in the midst of the genocide and God kept my mind in peace because I was constantly claiming his promises. I knew he had taken me to Africa for a reason. I knew he was growing me and expanding my borders. I knew he was working with me, was testing and growing my faith. We are told that during that genocide, over 800,000 Tutsis lost their lives. But God preserved my life for a reason. 
And today, I am abundantly grateful that in the midst of the storm, the storm of war, the storm of uncertainty, God kept my mind stayed on him. My brothers and sisters, we are in the midst of uncertainty with this pandemic. And you might be tempted to question God or to become fearful. But I say to you this morning, let the peace of God overtake you. Because the peace that God can give you, you can ride out any storm. So again, I leave with you the words of John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. So when you're tempted to be afraid, trust God and know that his peace is with you.